U.S. bank stocks took a beating yesterday on the news that Silicon Valley Bank was taking a multi-billion dollar loss. It rocketed the entire banking sector. Is this actually a risk that's just associated with Silicon Valley Bank? Or is there a broader, deeper, more systemic risk beneath the surface? Here we have an overlay chart of the US 210 spread and the bank ETF KBE. Now these are the larger banks. I inverted KBE to show just how closely it moves along with the yield curve. Now why the yield curve? Well, if you notice, whenever the curve gets inverted, that's when the, the shorter end of the curve is outpacing the longer end. Banks do not do well. Now it shows them troughing here in the chart, but again, this is an inverted chart. So KBE is actually topping, right? So what's happening here is these banks hold a lot of US treasuries, right? These US treasuries are, are risk-free assets, but only if you hold that asset until maturity. And that's where Silicon Valley Bank ran into trouble. They had liquidity issues and they were forced to sell treasuries that they had purchased back in 2021. Now we know what happened last year. Bonds became a risk asset for individual investors. The 64 group portfolio, forget about it, right? It blew up. Fast forward to today. 2023, rates continue to rise, especially at the short end of the curve. And now, big major banks, institution, financial institutions are coming to the realization that bonds are risk assets, right? Now, Bank of America, Charles Schwab, JP Morgan, they don't have the same acute risk to the technology sector, such as Silicon Valley right? Is it just something associated with, with, with the tech sector and with this particular bank? It's tough to say. But when we look at this chart, it's undeniable. Banks do not like an inverted yield curve. And this curve has been inverted for quite some time. Something to keep in mind. If you enjoyed the video, click the link below, read the post. And if you have any questions, reach out at info at All Star Charts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.